welcome to our garage. I'm Beck. And I'm Oliver. We're twins. Well, not identical. I think they can tell. Anyway, if you're anything like us, we love trying our bikes pretty much everywhere. To school, to the park, to the local bike track, to meet up with friends. And sometimes longer bike rides with our family and our family friends. Okay. Not sure how that pit got in there. Anyway, before we ride our bikes, we always do a quick bike check. There are six steps that you should do every time before you ride. Can you think of any? Pause us and see how many you can think of. Are they vacuous? I think so. Can we unpause? Great! How did you go? The first thing you should check are always your tyres. Maybe I should show you what could happen if you don't check them. Now, I want you to do this myself, as I love doing my own stunts, but my parents, I mean lawyers, thought it wouldn't be a good idea. So here's my silly danger side, Danger Ollie, animated. If you don't pump up your tyres enough, your tyres are spongy and make your bike wobbly and really hard to ride. And if you overinflate your tyres, then you're in for a hard and uncomfortable ride. Ouch, that doesn't look like fun. Glad that was him and not me. But don't worry, pumping up and checking your tyres is easy. Really easy. This needs a little bit of air. Simply unscrew the cap and attach the pump connection once it's on tight, you can start to pump the tyre up. It should be as hard as the basketball. When it is as hard as the basketball, you're done. Feels good, bro. Cool. The next thing we need to check are your brakes. As you can imagine, they're pretty important because you need them to stop. Let's see my animated self. I like to call her Crazy Becky. Let's see what trouble she gets into because she didn't check her brakes. Whoa! Crazy cat! Uh-oh, there's a bin. My brakes, they're not working. Uh, help! Whoa, 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 whoa! Phew. Oh. Ah! Oh. Whoa, that was pretty extreme. Well, if your brakes aren't working, you can get into a serious accident. Luckily, it was only animated. Let's show them how to check the brakes. Your brake levers should be about a thumb width away from the end of your handlebar. About here is good. You should be able to rock the bike back and forth and then stop when you pull on the brakes. Your brakes should sit on the rim. Make sure they aren't on the tyre. They still might stop you slowly, but they could damage your tyre. And you need to be able to stop fast if you need to... TREE! See? You need at least one working brake. It's a law. You also need a working bell so you can let people know that you're coming. But don't try and scare them. That's not cool. You need a bell. Again, it's the law. Yes, it is. Next is your chain. If your chain has grime or rust on it, or it's not on properly, it could fall off. And you're not going anywhere. What are you doing? I'm a bike with no chain. Okay, I'm not related to you. We should show them what could happen if you don't have your chain on properly. Maybe we should see you riding to school and your chain falls off in animation. Okay. It looks like a nice day until maybe a hill. Yes, up a steeper hill. Now the chain falls off. Oh no, that's not good. My chain. Oh no, oh no, come on, come 
on. Oh no. Down you go. Ah. Ooh, car wash. Do some pushes. If this does ever happen to you, you can always pull on your brakes. Yes, you don't have to roll down a hill, do a car wash and through some bushes. If you have a look at my bike, I'll show you how to check that your chain is on right and clean from debris and rust free. There are a couple ways to check your chain. You can pedal backwards to make sure it's on the cog right, which is this. Or you can lift up the bike near the seat and turn the pedal. It should move freely on the cob. Always make sure that it is rust free and there aren't any leaves or twigs in your chain. This looks good. Over to you Ollie. Next is the drop test. This is where you lift your bike up off the ground and drop it down. You shouldn't hear any rattles. It should sound good, like nothing is going to fall off. You should hear a slight rattle from your chain, but everything else should sound solid. Or something might be loose and fall off, which could cause you to have a serious accident. Let's show them Danger Ollie in animation. Okay. Not a suburban street, a path. Along a river. That's better. And because Danger Ollie didn't do the drop test, his seat is wobbly. Uh oh. And his handlebars are coming out. What? Wait, what? Ah! Looks like it's bath time. Ah! <laughs> Whoa, that's so weird. It was like I was actually there. Anyway, what's next? The height test. The height test is where you check your bike and your bike seat to make sure they're the right size and height for you to ride or it could be really hard. And you could potentially have a fall. I think it's Crazy Beck's turn. Be nice. Well, let's start with a bike that's too small. If your bike is too small, it will look like you're in the circus. Maybe we need some clown shoes. And clown hair. Hey, can't forget the nose. Wow, that looks awkward. And if your bike is too big and your seat is too high, well, that will make it hard to ride. But when you need to stop, you won't be able to get your feet down. I think we need some water there. Bath time. Maybe we should agree on no more water. Okay. Okay, to adjust your seat, make it hip height. Remember to lock it in place. When you hop on your bike, make sure you can touch the ground like this. This feels good. What's next? Lights. Lights are super important. They help you see when it's getting dark. And they help others like cars to see you too. And it's the law. Hey, that's my thing. <laughs> because they are so important, Maybe we should both, both show, show you an animation. Well, we are twins. twins. Spooky. Let's see the animation. Can you see us? No. What if we turn our lights on? Now that makes it easier for us to see, but also helps people to see you. Your lights should be bright enough to be seen from 200 metres away. That way, drivers can see you, even if you've seen them, like taxis, cars, trucks, other cyclists and pedestrians. Even forklifts? Yes, Ollie, even forklifts. You can see the importance of lights. See? Get it? Good one. You need reflectors and lights on the back and on the front of your bike. Make sure you turn your lights on before it starts to get dark. Just test them to see. Mashed potato, mashed potato. Mashed potato, mashed potato. He's singing on to his favourite band again. He still likes the wiggles. Did you say something? Just saying that these lights work well. Can we go for a ride now? Just see if they can remember the six steps. There's A for air, B for brakes, C for chain, D for drop test, H for height and L for lights. I like to sing them. 
I go air, brakes, chain, drop, high, lights, go. Air, brakes, chain, drop, high, lights, go. Or you can just remember the six steps. A, B, C, D, H, L. We're pretty much done here. We're off for a ride to the park. And don't forget your helmets too. See ya! Always make sure you do the six steps before you ride so you can be safe. But never forget, have fun! <laughs>